Hi yogis, I'm Kim Shan, founder of Rethink Yoga. I'm one of those people that have super tight hamstrings. I've joked with some of my students that the reason I know I'm alive when I wake up in the morning is I can feel how tight my hamstrings are. And in that way, maybe they're a blessing. I'd like to show you a vinyasa that you can use, that I use, to lengthen and relax the back of your legs. The one thing to keep in mind throughout the vinyasa is that your hamstrings will lengthen easier, more, if the front of your legs, your quads, are engaged. When the front of your leg is tight, strong, engaged, your mind signals that the back of your leg is safe to open. So it will lengthen more and you can go deeper into your stretch. The way to get the front of your leg to engage, two things. Lift your kneecap into your thigh. You'll feel your thigh harden. The other thing you can do is flex your foot. As you push into your heel, the front of your thigh hugs to the bone. Your body knows then it's safe to relax your quad and your stretches will be a lot more effective. So use that technique through the vinyasa. Let's start in a forward fold. Start with your feet hip distance and then bend your knees. Take opposite hand to opposite elbow behind your calves and let your chest come onto your thighs. This is a process, it's a slow opening of your hamstrings. So you don't wanna just come into this and immediately stand up straight, knees straight. Start with knees bent and let your hamstrings guide you. So with your chest against your thighs, you're gonna to begin to push your calves back into your forearms. As soon as your chest pulls off of your thighs, that's your edge of stretch, hold there. So keep the chest against the thighs, relax your head and neck, and begin to straighten your legs, pushing your legs into your forearms. This is a really nice deep stretch, and as you sink deeper into the stretch, begin to shift your weight into the balls of your feet and lift your hamstrings even higher. You can stay here for as long as you want, when you're ready to release, plant your palms and either walk back to down dog or take a vinyasa. Once you're in down dog, you're ready for three-legged dog. Right side first, lift your right leg high. Right away you'll feel the stretch in the left hamstring. If you lift your right hip, you'll pull yourself out of the stretch. So keep your right hip squared, belly button in, right pinky toes point toward the floor. Strong arms, chest toward your thigh, deep stretch. Keeping the right leg straight, hook your right big toe to the left Achilles heel and push that heel toward the earth. Show some compassion if you're really tight. Chest toward your thigh. Right foot crosses your left leg. Place your right toes pointing into your left foot. Bend the left knee. One more stretch. Back to down dog. Left leg lifts. Left pinky toes toward the floor chest toward your thighs. Then Achilles heel stretch, left big toe hooks the back of your right heel. One more exhale. Cross the left foot behind the right, place the left foot at 45 degrees, chest toward your thighs. Back to down dog. three-legged dog and come into a lunge. So knee to chest, right foot to the top of the mat. Keep your left heel lifted and straighten your right leg. 
I like to tent my fingers. It gives my shoulders a little bit more space so I can lift and lengthen the spine and then exhale, fold. When you're ready, lifting your chest, bring your left knee to the earth, uncurl your toes, and begin to walk yourself back to a seated position. You're going to sit inside your left ankle. Make sure that your foot is straight. All five toenails are pressing into the earth. Re-establish the strength of your quad. So kneecap lifts, quad strong, flex your right foot, right hand to the outside of your hip, left arm long. Exhale, and it's a gentle twist bringing your left hand to the outside of your knee, shin, ankle, or foot. Chest drapes over your thigh. When you're ready, lifting up, come back into lunge. Now curl your left toes under, and as you straighten both legs into Parsvottanasana, your left heel is going to plant at 45 degrees. Both hips are square and pulling back evenly away from the crown of your head. Inhale, lengthen, and then exhale, fold. A few breaths here and you've built up to your most intense twist. Take your left hand to the instep of your front foot, or if you're ready, go for the outside of your right ankle. Lengthen your spine and begin to twist, rolling your right ribs up toward the sky. And then right arm high. This one you're going to really feel in both hamstrings. Both hands to the top of the mat, down dog, and we're ready for the left side. Left leg lifts, knee to nose, left foot to the top of the mat, and then straighten your left leg, keeping your right heel lifted off of the ground. When you're ready to release, come back into lunge and bring your right knee down, uncurling your right toes. Sit back inside the right ankle. Make sure that your right foot is straight and all five toenails are on the mat. Left hand outside your hip, right arm long, left leg strong. Exhale and reach, fold. When you're ready to lift, come back up, walk yourself forward into lunge, curl your right toes under, Parsvottanasana, right foot plants at 45 degrees, hips are even, stretching back, exhale, release. Then for the deepest stretch, right hand to the instep or outside of your left ankle. A block is nice here too to lift the floor up. Left ribs rotate toward the sky, then left arm high. When you're done, finish with down dog. You've lengthened the back of your legs, opened through your sacrum. Good start to the day.